All right, everyone, we are here with a very special guest. We are joined by Jeffree Star, makeup artist, YouTuber, Hi. CEO, <laughs> TikToker, creator of all sorts, does it all. Does Welcome it all. to the show, Jeffrey. Thank you for having me. Hi, ladies. Hi, we're super excited. <laughs> we're excited to have you here. You know, you're doing um, a bunch of shows at Barstool. Yes. What has been your first impression of coming in here um i thought there was gonna be more athletes waiting for me <laughs> but they're still asleep in my room yeah. um no but i love new york i love the vibe here i think it's a little better than new york i mean than la sorry yeah. I, yeah. I love new york i haven't been here since the pandemic started wow so this is our first official trip back wonderful we brought Welcome the hot back. weather yeah seriously yes, you did. And we, we love barstool so much yeah, yeah. You had a lot of fun with Taylor. We did. We had a lot of fun at the Super Bowl. Will declined to not be there. Mm -hmm. I get it. You know. Yeah. Will you find? Will you find your way to Will? Um, he's too short. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And once they showed me the before picture of what he looked like before Mm -hmm. the fake teeth. Yeah. It just not interesting. I'm scarred still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're you're good with Taylor. Yeah. Teeth yeah. teeth is it's a game changer. Yeah. My it boyfriend is. has fake teeth and yeah. they really changed everything. Every <laughs> tooth in my head is fake. Yeah, really? Yeah. What made you do my, that? Mine were so bad. So the first thing I did when I made I call it real money. Yeah. When mm-hmm. you can actually afford something. <laughs> <laughs> um I, I changed them completely. So if you watch like old music videos, it's yeah. really bad. So when you first yeah. made that real money teeth, mm-hmm. what was like the next big purchase? Ooh, um a, a real car. I went from like um, no lease buy. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of these influencers, everything's on lease. Mm-hmm. It's all Mind perception. <laughs> well, that. But well, how old are you? Twenty five. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I think there's business scenarios for a lot of people that are great. There's nothing wrong with leasing. Mm-hmm. Who wants to buy a full car if you don't want to, or or you just yeah. want to swap it out? But I think a lot of the you know influencer culture is just spend, 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 look great, and then they're broke in a year. Mm. What was the, <laughs> what was the first car? Oh, so I went from a 1991 Nissan Sentra mm-hmm. with like tw- with yeah. like 20 dents <laughs> yep. to yep. Um, a BMW i8. Yeah, that's a I good like, stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, and then it just kept spiraling, and I collect cars now. How many do you have? Um, I think like a measly 25. Oh wow. my god! Yeah. <laughs> and are they, where do you keep I them all? I love it. Uh, some in LA, okay. so when I land, I have something nice, yeah. and then I have a big garage in Wyoming. So you split your time LA and Wyoming. Mainly Wyoming now. Okay. Yeah. So because so you just a- said that you like the city, New York City, better than LA. Yeah, I like the energy. Okay. So if I'm gonna leave the ranch and leave my peace and quiet. I want to be around some good energy. And I'm so burnt out from LA, 30 plus years. It's like. You've kind of seen it all. (sighs) I've done it all. I've seen it all. I've sucked it all. And it's just time (laughs) to move on to the the next region. (laughs) (laughs) Got to switch it up. Why why Wyoming? Because from an outside perspective, that's a drastic change. It's it's so drastic. I've always been an extremist um, (laughs) on anything I do. I just go full, right? So. I wanted to challenge myself and do something really weird and different. Not that being a rancher is weird, but for me, I think it is, especially yeah. looking like this. So I found the least populated state. I bought a bunch of land um, and I started ranching. And that wasn't the really the the end game. The end game was just to go somewhere, be in the middle of nowhere and just kind of be quiet for a while. I wanted to like heal and I'd, I've been online for 20 years. Yeah. Like I'm mm-hmm. a dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. I was here when they were building the pyramids. So it's <laughs> like, I've been here for so long and I just wanted to mental reset. So I kind of not vanished, but I trickled away for a little bit. And then I started this year off balls to the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, how are you ranching with those nails? The yaks love it. Great <laughs> massages. Crazy. I was going to say, like, I feel like that's scratches. a really good arm tickle. So yeah. yaks love their ears uh, rubbed. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they love the nails. And so do the football players. Yes, yeah. they do. <laughs> good massages for the back of the head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for the other spots. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, oh, I just love long nails. I love yeah. stuff like that. I just got rid of my long nails, honestly. How do you feel? I, a little weird. I had them for probably two years. The thing that I was getting annoyed at, and you probably deal with the this undernail. all the time, the undernail, like my skincare, my creams, everything was getting stuck under there. <laughs> like I know. It's yeah. the hot water under. You just got to keep it moving. Yeah. What is a day in your life look like? Like when you're at the ranch, yeah. are you doing full glam like this? So Yeah, because I filmed so many different things now, right? I fully came back on TikTok. I never fully embraced it until I'd say maybe like nine months ago and now mm-hmm. I'm fully on. So I start the mornings now reviewing makeup and a lot of the times I'll just wear it throughout the day. Um, but I don't get as ready 
out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, so everyone was very excited when you got on TikTok. I think people were waiting for it for a while. Yeah. We the saw the whole thing huge. happen with yeah. Michaela. With Lashgate. And I, yeah, and yeah. everyone was like, we need Jeffrey on TikTok. It was Is like that kind of what like yes, made you jump when on? When I saw the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo in Gotham City, I, <laughs> <laughs> I said they're calling. Yeah, it actually inspired me to want to review again. I was very mm -hmm. burnt out. All the YouTube culture, the drama, the craziness. I just kind of stepped away for a year. So to come back and see the space of beauty change so much was kind of shocking. There's not a lot of players. TikTok has like a few two, three big, I guess, stars. And mm -hmm. then it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's just a weird, yeah, there's it's a really lot, weird. There's a lot in that mid range yes. space. Why I feel like on more, beauty TikTok. Like the new Nikki tutorials, the new Jacqueline right, Hills, yeah, the right. new Jeffree stars, where right. are those people? And I'm not seeing it, which right. is interesting. Yeah. So the Kraken was released and I've been having the best time. Because there's so much, I guess, fake and fuckery out there. And yeah. it kind of like, it turns me on to correct things and just like. Right. I try, I'm trying to think of like, I guess, some of the names of people. Michaela, everybody talks yeah. about. What was your. Meredith Duxbury, everybody talks her. about. Yeah. Yeah. What was your take on the whole thing with Michaela? How she addressed it? I mean, you're no stranger to controversy. Yeah, so I like, just thought it was so. It's, it's such a bizarre thing mm -hmm. because people forget. Yes, yeah, she's just someone filming in her bedroom, but. There's management, there's lawyers, there's agents, and there's so many people in her ear. I'm just a free agent and I'm just me. So mm -hmm. I guess she wasn't allowed to respond to it. And I heard that there was a contract with L'Oreal mm -hmm. and she couldn't say anything and still didn't. So she got the check, that wedding's paid for. Congrats, <laughs> yeah. bitch, hustle. But I just think that you don't need to lie because the mascara was actually good. Yeah. That's the funny it part. Was, that's that is what we talked about. It's we a good like, formula. Like, yeah. You didn't need I, I watched yeah. you review it and you were like, this is it's really cute. good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's such a bizarre thing, but if people are okay with being lied to, then I guess we're in a different culture. Mm -hmm. But I think people know they're gonna get the truth on my page. Yeah. Do you think that there's more um, because I, between beauty TikTok now and those so many creators on there, it feels like they are pushing so many deals and it's this influencer culture where you get sent the PR package yes. and they want you like in your mind, you're like, well, they sent it to me. I have to say it's good. That would be the YouTube days where people yeah. would feel yeah. obligated. Well, I have to say it's great or they're going to stop sending it to me. So go yeah. fucking buy it. Right. Yeah. It's right. at Walmart. What do you mean? Go buy it and review it. <laughs> right, yeah. right. I don't want to upset the brand. So some yeah. of my old friends would lie for money, and it was so mm -hmm. uncomfortable and just no respect. Because it feels like I see a lot of that on, on TikTok, where I'm like, is any... Until I start to see... I have to like really dive deep on some people's pages. Because they I'm don't like, disclose I the ads, yeah, and it's very Either bizarre. that, or I'm like, I need to find at least three videos of this person saying they don't like something. Cause so, when it's, when every single right. video is that they like it, it's like, yeah. where's, there's gotta be yeah. something you didn't like. And the more honest you are, the more people like yeah. you, the more money that comes in, then you can go buy the products. And you don't need like them to send it for free. This week, there's this thing where they're all getting paid to review this white green cream that takes away your redness. And I've mm -hmm. seen like 10, of them do the ad. And I'm like, this. how does this brand even have the budget for these hoes? Yeah. Like, it's just crazy. <laughs> and they're all doing it with the same talking points that they yeah. were emailed. Mm -hmm. And it's just so, get your bag. But I just think if 10 other people are gonna do it, I don't know, it just it comes off so right. cheesy. You have to yeah. stand out, you gotta be different for the long mm -hmm. haul. And that's yeah. why you've been in the game for so long. And you mentioned you're a free agent, nobody's really telling you what to do. Yeah. How did you make that decision? Because I bet there's a time where people are pining after you um, and they want to represent you and yes. they want your money. I've tried it before, it never works. Because what is a manager really doing? Or what are they supposed to do? In the past, I never had one actually do anything great. Mm -hmm. they They're just yeah. besides taking 10%. They want to take the <laughs> right. 10, 15, right. to maybe sometimes 20%. And if you're turning down deals because you don't like a product, they're not making any money. Exactly. And they're getting mad. Why are you turning down? It's good money. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I just love having no manager. No, I mean, I have an agent, you know, yeah. like I have a, we're, we're actually shopping a, autobiography right now mm. um i may work on new music one day it's been 12 years so but yeah no manager yeah do which you, scares people I, I'm, I would imagine so i mean do you do you like where the influencer like where the social media influencer 
realm is right now or do you prefer I th- the other state because i mean like you said you've been through the the myspace days yeah. and now I, then it was like nothing YouTube. will ever touch myspace yeah. that was like the best <laughs> era it was so fun and clean i think so we're raw it like it's so, just yes. yeah, everyone was so new yeah. to everything yeah and i think we're moving into a positive shift i think we are i think a lot of people are over the bullshit, which i'm helping i think shift the culture you know because now when i see a lot of these girls post with the ad, it's just every comment is some funny ass shit. Right. People talk slick nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> Not that they ever did, but funny on more TikTok, so than ever. Say. They will Comments call you TikTok, out on TikTok. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah. So I like being in the space. It's fun. TikTok's been really cool to us. Um, Haley Bieber or someone on her team did flag my video. And oh my TikTok was very sweet to be like, what, why? And then they brought her back. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I wrote down a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of celebrity beauty brands. Yeah. Rode being at the top of the list yeah. because we saw that you it was reported and yeah. you weren't a fan of it. I want to go through these brands and okay. kind of give like. Now, a, have you tried Rode Pest Control? I mean, skincare. She I, has. I, I have not. use it. I'm not. a. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Okay. I, so. Hand no, up, I use it. So no shade. <laughs> yeah. Why or what makes you actually enjoy it versus everything on the market? I This is called market research. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Personally, like I don't like I, I don't like nine million steps. Yes. And I felt like you know, my skin is not crazy problematic. So for me, it it's a very simple thing. You. It's very <laughs> it's very simple of like I it, get, it, it feels glowy, it feels hydrated. I use the moisturizer and then it looks good under makeup. Like that's okay, really, yeah. so for me, and it's like not a crazy price point. It's yes. pretty affordable. Did you get the The kit? lip stuff, I don't, uh, like it's weird because like the I have the caramel one, which I kind of like better, but the unscented one, it doesn't wear well okay. through the day, yeah. in my opinion. We it feels nice needs. going on, yeah. but then like when you go in for that second Re- like reapply, yeah. it gets um, it gets built like cakey on oh, your lips. I guess it kind of gummy. Yes, yeah. the gumminess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I I have repurchased. Yeah, yeah. she's like my filter of i'm not a huge consumer of like celebrity beauty brands. Yeah. I like kind of tailor more to yeah. like the makeup artist, skincare people. Yeah. Like I people just, who I do were like born in that. I do like to try it. Yeah. And, and so, so I'll spend my money and buy it. And like, then I'm I bought like, I all of I bought all of Skin by Kim. I yeah. bought all of it. And did you like it? It was fine. It was underwhelming. It was fine. Yeah. It was very expensive for what it was. Yes. I want to get a rating on each of these brands okay. from you. Maybe like a one to ten scale. Okay. And one's the worst, right? One's the worst, ten okay. being the best. Let's <laughs> let's go road. Okay. Uh, well, since there's an actual consumer here that likes it, it's good to hear real feedback. Mm-hmm. We'll give her a four. Have you tried it? Only the lip stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. The, and the lip stuff is... Mm. And it was just kind of like... it was See, that, mediocre. and that's what I see hyped up the most is the Same. lip stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is Because I have employees confusing. from my brand. They're like, yeah, my daughter loves the, the lip, lip thing. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, okay. But it was just underwhelming for me. Yeah, yeah. For that, I just use like a good old fashioned Carmax. <laughs> like I just, that part, yeah. Like I, whatever. Um, <laughs> let's do Fenty Beauty. Ooh, honestly, ten out of ten. Yeah, I love Fenty. They rarely ever miss. When they came on the game, they changed everything with inclusivity, mm-hmm. and their shade range was like it set the tone for the entire beauty industry, and it forever changed how we launch foundation. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Rihanna. No, she, she <laughs> did Fenty. That. Rare. Ooh. Um, I would say eight and a half out of ten. Love rare. Love. I love rare. really very good consistent. A few duds, but yeah, amazing. Have you tried the new lip oil? Really great. Yeah, I just uploaded a review. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I have it. <laughs> they Mine's were really being good. delivered tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot I, of people were reviewing them, but they are a tint. So when you remove it, even if it's on for forty seconds, yeah. it has a tint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say so. rare. I agreed is one with of the everything. That I yeah, and I agreed when you day. fully reviewed like what you had. I agreed with what you said. Like I love the the contour sticks. I think are great. The the bronzer mm-hmm. sticks, the blush. I used the like I liked the foundation, but then I tried when I tried other foundations. I was like, mm, that, it's not quite I up it to foundation up to up to par. But I do love the those two things. I love and the highlights. I like yeah. the highlighter. What about Ariana Grande's REM or REM? So that is a question mark. I've never 
tried it. Neither have I. I never, never seen yeah. this or touched a single product. Yeah. So they, her brand is owned by the company that owns Morphe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Called Forma. So when I found out that Ariana doesn't even own her own brand, I was like, girl, you're so rich. You did not need a middleman and a company of yeah. people making your products for you and putting your label on it. So I honestly was turned off, never touched it. Really? Yeah. You think you ever will? Keep singing, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, got, ha, house Labs, Gaga. I would say nine out of ten. Yeah. So really great. Her rebrand is amazing, and I hate rebrands. I think when <laughs> like it flopped the first time, yeah. and it usually never works the second time. Gaga is such a star; it's a hit. Yeah. So I reviewed it back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just. I, I, TikTok, I remember, like, I feel like last year everyone hyped up that yeah. their the foundation. foundation. Like, it was actually loved. really great. Yeah. 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 It's so hard when there's so many great products on the I know. market. How and you're like, what do I, what do I, I, do I, I use I, every I, day? I buy, let me tell you something. I buy everything. My boyfriend is like, if, if I see another Sephora bag in this apartment, I'm going to freak out. Like, I have, now I have bins of stuff under my sink of stuff that like I've used once and then I'm like eh and then it's just in there don't, just donate so it so much yeah. stuff I'm yes, so I've attached to my products besides the other day I got the new Patrick Ta stuff because that yeah. was like I've yeah. really seen great things about this yes. so overall favorite or one of the best is Fenty yes absolutely what do you think of the makeup artists now that have their own brands that are very keyed into like the new TikTok like it girls like you saw like Patrick go and do Alex Earl's makeup very, at her house I think like it's very smart smart it's just like how they all used to come on our channels yeah mm-hmm. and it's like I think it's great is yeah. this something you would do now oh, on TikTok absolutely. Pa- I love Patrick talk yeah mm-hmm. his I mean his, it's smart he's all over it's all yeah. of his he stuff he definitely needs to do my makeup soon Mm-hmm. Are you listening? Uh, <laughs> that would be a great TikTok. Right? He'll go to Wyoming. A soft, yeah. toned down version. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Comfy, yeah. cozy. Slutty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned, you know, that you took a little step away, then got in, into the TikTok because yeah. of there's controversy going on. Inter- and yeah. internet, the it, internet exploded during COVID. Yes, it did. And I think right before that, we saw like the James Charles, Tati Westbrook stuff go down. They ruined the beauty community. And, yeah. and that's when we got yeah, it kind of did. like pulled in because we were like, wait a second. I didn't know what this was all going on on YouTube. Yeah. And it, yeah. it brought in new viewers. It did. And, and then kind of in a way that was not, like, yeah, was not a really in a good thing, way. Yeah. I think <laughs> once the new people saw it wasn't just like a soap opera and it was real shit, real life, really. It was just, and then YouTube in the beauty space died. Mm -hmm. Mr. Beast is still killing it. (laughs) YouTube as a whole is not dead. Thank God they got rid of their CEO. Um, But I think they have hope. I I get asked all the time, are you going to come back? And I haven't uploaded since November. Mm -hmm. Um, So when all like TikTok better now. I love it. And, And people have shifted. They don't want, now I'm not saying everyone. I get asked to do 30 minute reviews all the time. Right. The majority of people do not watch 30 minutes anymore. The attention span is gone. It's yeah. It's vanished. Yeah. Gone which like sucks. Yeah. I love right. a long, thorough mm-hmm. review, but if the culture's shifting, you have to go with the times. Yeah. yeah. So. so now when all this controversy is happening and you've been a part of it, like how are you handling it behind the scenes? How do you keep composure? How do you continue on yeah. to go on and make content and push through and not hide in a hole? And also having the other people in the beauty community reach out to you. Whose side are you on? What are you going to talk about it? It was the craziest real life soap opera, soap opera I think I've ever been a part of. Um, I think when you, that's a really big question. I stayed grounded because I knew who I was and there was a lot of fake people in the industry and a lot of craziness that went down. So I knew I wasn't a bad person and I knew that, you know, the truth about a lot of these situations. So I just kind of stepped away. I vanished. I moved out of California. Yeah. Um, and I just needed a big break because I think they really took the fun out of the beauty community. With Tati's last video, it was just like the craziest yeah. thing. And I think it ruined beauty. Mm. How frustrated do you nuts. get when you see people lying on the Internet and you know it's a lie? It used to make me really angry and I felt like I had to like make sure yeah. everyone knew. But it's just not I can't fight everyone's battle. Yeah. You know, I can tell the truth and reveal products and let everyone okay. know maybe this is full of shit but it was you know i'm not the people the what's the word fact checker yeah something like that yeah. and i and i felt like i was just like being swept up in the role right then yeah. had to prove everything i knew right that was wrong as yeah, yeah. i mean so. you kind of lean into that now <laughs> with the you know you put up the videos of the nfl player and who i love is having it? fun yeah and you have people questioning 
Do you read the comments <laughs> and see some names and you're like, yep, that's it, but Absolutely. I can't say it? Yeah. And so some people get it right and you just I, can't I say it. I told one of Taylor's friends the truth in Arizona. Really? But I wouldn't tell him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, his friend definitely told Taylor. He actually didn't. You, th- you don't Because think so? his friend slept with my friend in Arizona <gasps> and we're keeping it so all a secret. It's a trade oh for a trade. Oh my God. Info mm-hmm. for info. Yep. There you go. Yeah. That's, so that's, 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 that's the guy <laughs> All you have to do is secret oh swaps, and that's how the secret stays in. Right. It's like, well, you know this, and I know you, uh-huh. that. So, yeah. Well, we <laughs> have to. That is so absolutely good. hilarious. Oh, I mean, shit. so, like, okay, quickly before we end, da- yeah. like, the dating situation for you. Yeah. Um, what's the market like in Wyoming? <laughs> um, A little more scarce. Okay. We, and then, t- so we're the ninth biggest state in America. Okay. We are the least populated with 580,000 people, whole state. Yeah. LA County is 9 million. So I have a few uh, regulars. Normies. Yeah. Yeah. There's a nice cop I hang out with. <laughs> um, but Married cop? Or no, single. Single? Yeah, single. I don't do the married. Or... I don't do the married anymore. Um, no. Just chilling. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, there's not a lot of options there. Mm-hmm. A, yeah. a lot of people are just, they married at 12th grade and here yeah, we are. Exactly. Have you so ever, a lot of flights. I'm keeping yeah, the Delta. Yeah, I was going to say, how often the are Delta you, terminal is is so how good. often are you flying yeah. out? No, not often. I feel like we're, I'm not a hooker, no. but yeah. um, I, I like to have fun. Yeah, 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 of course. Why not? Single. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm very sexual. <laughs> yeah. yeah, makes sense. Um, well, we have to wrap up, but one thing I wanted to touch on before yes. we wrap up: you're a big fan of Taco Bell, and so am I. Yes, you're a Taco Bell lover. You've seen it in different countries. Everywhere. I yeah. am very excited to experience fast food in London because that's where I'm going soon oh, because I just hear yeah, like yeah, all yeah. the like every fast food is different so it's healthier the ingredients are healthier it's great news you have to pay if you want um, your soda to have sugar you have to pay extra wow yeah so they keep everyone as healthy as they can no sugary drinks and it's all everything is zero there it's bizarre yeah. where's Taco Bell the best what country oh my god I want to say I've been to so many places. I'm also thinking about McDonald's. I would say, yeah, Sa- I think I'm like Singapore. Really? Yeah. One of the cleanest countries. If you litter, it's 25 years in jail. That's how they keep, they gotta get Isn't that, that nice? in yeah, yeah, seriously. Like, they gotta get that some type of rule here. It's crazy. <laughs> if you throw a piece of gum on the ground, pr- full prison. They probably, they there is not, <laughs> it's prison. nuts. There's not one speck of dirt in that yeah. country. It's oh, so beautiful. Well, yeah. it sounds beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, well, well, yeah. Thank you so much for joining of us. Of course. It was so fun. Thanks for having me on. Um, and you guys, you get to go to four other shows here. I'm, ex- I'm ready. Are you excited? Yeah. I, I almost it's so fun because like I feel like asking you to review things is so fun so now I'm, I'm like yeah, what should I, I review w- next well what now I'm like I want to request all the but shows also, here. that's what I'm saying like I kind of hate that we're going second like I want I kind of want to go last so we could be like rank all the shows you right. went on we'll have to ask before you leave I will yeah, yeah. and you'll let us know okay. be nice to ask we'll though. do a full round oh, you guys are awesome thank, oh, thank you so much, you so much. thank you so much you're awesome as well thank you and that wraps it up thank you yay thanks y'all 